All right, guys, North Carolina regionals just finished for Pokemon. We're going to talk about the 2100 plus player events uh, top decks. I'm going to show you guys the top eight uh, results as well as top six decks. I guess the last two decks did not show up yet, but we did want to show you guys the deck results immediately. And uh, it's an amazing showing for all these decks. Giratina did really well. Charizard DX, we expected it there. But yeah, guys, really excited to show you uh, the decks. So let's jump right in. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina Regionals, top eight deck list. We'll start here with uh, sixth place by Isaiah Bradner. Really interesting deck, guys. He went for the Giratina Lost Box. Actually, Giratina performed really well this tournament, and he just uh, kept showing off this deck. Uh, four Comfy, three Giratinas, three Giratina V Star. Absolutely. Did you guys watch the finals? That Giratina V uh, pocketing three Giratina Vs in the final game. Absolutely insane. On day two, Sable Eye at one just to steal some games, uh, Cramorant and deal some extra damage, Radiant Greninja, Manfi, and Spirit Bomb. So, nothing crazy that we see here. Kind of a very similar list to what we've seen before. Four Jet Energies, uh, as well as the four Switch cards, I believe. Oh no, only two Switch cards. Interesting. And uh, four Psychic Energy, four, three Grass, and two Water. So, for his. Uh, Trainers, obviously he went for a full lineup of the Colorus, two bro bosses, let's see if he's running any uh, Counter Catcher, he is running one Counter, counter Catcher, two Roxans, four Mirage Gate, obviously, Battle VIP at four, Nest Ball Switch uh, at three, Switch Cart at two, Pokey Gear at three, uh, two, sorry, and Super Rod at two, and then three Path to the Beak. So as you can see, guys, this deck loses a lot of its card uh, in the next uh, rotation, but... Very stable, very strong. Uh, just a couple of Roxans is really his only disruption, not running anything else like Iodos. And uh, really interesting to see this deck, guys. Uh, it is all, all basically going to lose the Battle VIPs and it's going to lose the path. But besides that, this deck holds on to a lot of what uh, makes it really strong. So we might see it compete even after uh, the rotation happens. So yeah, guys, that was top, top six. Uh, not sure why we don't have top... 7th and 8th, it was a Roaring Moon and a Giratina, Russell and Ross uh, did this uh, matchup, but as you can see we don't have the deck list, uh, Limitless never posted them, and not sure why, but uh, yeah, we're going to go for Alex Shemansky's uh, deck right now, 5th place, Lost Box Charizard, totally different, uses the Radiant Charizard, not a Charizard EX, does really good in this, 2 Sable Eyes, so he's really <laughs> trying to hit, hit damage with these Sable Eyes and the Cramorants, that's really where his focus is, it's basically a one prize uh, deck, and uh, it's gonna feel bad against uh, an Iron Hands, but still really good, performed really well, as we saw a lot of Iron Hands actually, so it's actually amazing to see that it performed really, this Pokemon attacks, cost one less for each opponent's single strike, nice, so you can hit this for free, potentially against certain decks, and yeah, uh, really interesting deck, guys. Uh, did really well. Three Psychic Energy, two Fire, and one Double Turbo. That's such a low amount of energy. But as you can see, Sableye and Cramoran don't really need that much energy. And still can hit really hard. Your energy is really for the uh, Charizard. So you can pump up that damage. Really, really amazing to see. Uh, I really recommend you guys watch that final uh, that game that he uh, uh, you know got here. I think it was top eight... Uh, Day two, you can find the, the games that this uh, deck performed in. Really, really amazing. Uh, let's talk about its uh, supporters. Here we got one Beach Core, two Art Artazan. Really looking for these uh, basic Pokemon. Also, we're looking for Devolution. So it gives them an extra pa attack, Dev Devolution, slowing down opponents. Um, not sure how effective this is. Unless you. Return the opponent's hand next turn. It's really not going to do a lot of things to devolve your, your opponent. So, not sure how strong this card is yet. But we are seeing play already. Palpad at 1. Mirage Gate at 1. Heavy ba Ball at 1. Really looking for those basics. Uh, Lost Vacuum at 2. Contra Catcher at 2. 2 Super Rods. 2 Pokey Gears. 2 four Fog Crystals. 2 Nest Balls. 4 Escape, 4 Switch Card, 4 Battle, 1 Roxanne, 1 Boss Orders, 2 Roy Hand, 2 Claras, and 4 Colorus. Really amazing decisions here. As you can as you can see, looking for his supporters so he can do some work. Clara can help him get a lot of his energies back. And a lot of his basics if he do, does lose them early. It's, it's, a, it's a one prize deck that did really, really well, guys. That was 5th place by Alex. 
Let's move on to number four here. Ryan Miller, Miradon EX, one of my favorite decks. Miradon, really amazing. Two Miradon, two Iron Hands. Uh, so as you can see, it's for the one prizers. Two Raichus, two Mew EX, amazing. Only one Mary, Pwn Flaffy. So this deck is basically <laughs> getting ready to, to leave the, the Flappy engine, Dynamotor engine. Uh, Squawk Squawkabilly at 1, Zapdos at 1, Luminion V at 1, and Drapion at 1. So we are seeing uh, Miraidon decks running these Luminion Vs to look for bosses orders, look for these punies, and and really just move move ahead, m move themselves ahead because it seems like uh, we... It's very rare you find a spot to put <laughs> Luminion V uh, comfortably, especially when you play Squawkabilly as well. So it sucks to play these two on board. Basically, you only have a sp space for Miradon and one Raichu and one Mew after that. So you're going to spread yourselves really thin, but uh, still the abilities are pretty valuable. Picking up uh, Forest Seal Stone, putting it here on the V... Luminion V is also an option as well, as you can see, very low amount of Vs. So that's another option. But yeah, guys, amazing. I really love this. I also look for the ratios for his lightning energy. 14 lightning and one double turbo. It's insane. 14 lightnings. That's one of the most amounts of uh, energy we've ever seen uh, in a enemy raid on deck. Three peony, three professors, two bot. So you don't need four. Two boss order, four electrical generators, four ultras, two nests, two Pokemon catchers. Interesting. <laughs> really running the RNG. Two switch, one escape rope, one battle VIP, three EXP shares. Wow, heavy on the EXP shares. One force seal stone, two towns, and one beach. So the town is looking for EXP shares. And basically after the rotation, that's basically your only way to move your uh, energies around. So you're going to need that heavy. But yeah, guys, really amazing deck. Uh, really interesting to see. It's closer to what it's going to look like post-rotation. Absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're interested to kind of figure out what a deck post-rotation will look like for Miradon, this is it right here, guys. Let's move on. Got number three here, Gardevoir with Gustavo Wara. Gustavo hit four Ralts, three, uh, four Kirillas, two Gardevoir EX and two Gardevoirs, uh, baby Gardevoirs. One Zacian V, one Screamtail, one Mew for the draw. Radiant Greninja, Manfi, and Jirachi. Really uh, consistent to other uh, Gardevoir decks. 10 Psychic and 2 Reversal Energies. Only needed 2, okay. 4 Iono is really heavy in the disruption. I mean, once you put all your energies in the discard, uh, yeah, it's, it's really easy to... You just need to disrupt. And then... Uh, because you, the Gardevoir is just an engine that runs you... Brings you all your... Attaches all your energy that you need. So you really don't need anything except the Guard Vore EX and a couple of, a bunch of energy on the board, uh, on the discard pile. So now you, you can run a bunch of disruptors like Iono's. Interesting. No rock sands. One collapse stadium. Artisan. A lost vacuum at one. Two counter catchers. Two sp super rods. Two rare candies to evolve the Guard Vore. Only two. Interesting. Two fog crystals. Really big. Three ultra. Three level ball. Four battle VIPs. One professor's two row. Interesting. Maybe if he has, uh, I'm wondering what would he get rid of? <laughs> Is this on? Interesting. And then uh, a workers, uh, a worker uh, at one, just to discard some city. One boss's orders because we're running the counter catchers, and then two professors research. Amazing, amazing. See you guys. Well done. Congratulations to Gustavo for number three. Number two guys here is Charizard EX. Insane performance here for EX. Charizard did really well. Um, was this Caleb? This was Caleb Rogerson. Uh, and uh, let's just talk about his uh, EX here. Uh, four Charmin, Charmin, four Charmander, one Charmeleon, three Charizard X. Pretty sta standard. Two PG, two Pidgeot X, EX, standard. One Radiant Charizard. One Rotom, one Dominion, one uh, Mew, one Manaphy, and one Jirachi. Pretty standard deck, guys. Not really discovering the tire here. Six Fire Energies. Uh, four Arvins, three Boss, three Iono, one Professors. Four Rare Candy, four Ultra, four Battle VIP, two Super Rod, two Losts. One Counter Catcher, one Level Ball, one Switch, one Force Seal Stone, one Choice Belt. He's also running the Devolution Attack. 
in an Arta zone as well with two and one collapse stadium absolutely amazing guys really amazing deck a lot of control here running the Ionos at three as well is uh, gonna help him after he gets all the Arvins he needs he just uh, Ionos the opponent wow really strong deck guys really strong performance you can watch him on day two perform amazingly I think he was one of the final games as well so Caleb uh, Charlotte North Carolina second place guys absolutely amazing now for first place Vin Vin Vinicius Fernandez from Brazil Giratina lost box let's talk about this guys pretty consistent deck four comfy three Giratina V three Giratina V start one Sibylai one Cramorant one Radiant Greninja nothing else we're not running the Dra Drapions or whatever let's uh, look at the energies four jet four psychic three green three grass and three water it's actually three water uh, so it's one more energy I believe than uh, the other uh, Giratina also, four colorists, two bo bosses, two Roxanne. So nobody's running Iodos in these decks. Um, Avery at one, Mirage Gate at four, Battle VIP at four, four Switch uh, cards, three Nest Balls, Poké Gear at two, uh, two Super Rods, one Counter Catcher, and fourth Path to the Peak. Really consistent deck, guys. Very similar to the other Giratina, but just got rid of any ex extra stuff. Just focused on the Giratina engine, not messing around. And really paid off for him, making it for first place, the $64 deck. <laughs> really amazing, guys. And, uh, yeah, that's the top eight, guys. Uh, make sure you guys check out this website, TCG Legion, for any of your needs. Uh, it's actually really helpful. It's, uh, it takes, basically, major tournaments, Pokemon, Lorgana, and One Piece, and puts them all in one, one area. But, yeah, guys, interested in your opinion. Leave them down below. What do you think about the decks? What are you going to test out next? And uh, what do you think about the next regionals? Where, where, who's going to be topping there? Interested in your opinions, guys. Leave them down below.